<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Tim and Christina for living with MS in Tenerife. Say hi. Good evening. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is <laughs> very posh today. Uh, we haven't done a vlog in a long time and because nothing's really happened. But we've been, I've been doing a bit of a, a podcast, as you may know or may not know. And, and I uh, can tell you, nothing's going to happen to me either. <laughs> uh, we're allowed out now, but we haven't been out, have we? No. No. Can't be bothered. We're just dirty stay in the muds, aren't we? Stick in the muds. <laughs> now, Christina's got her sunglasses on because I've got a light here. And she's right, it's a bit bright at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but we want you to see us anyway. So, uh, we've had quite a few new subscribers on YouTube. We'd like to thank you very, very much. Uh, for subscribing on YouTube as well as our staunch <gasps> followers on Facebook. <sighs> so we... That's okay, am I boring you? No. <laughs> We've just had a wonderful meal and Christina always gets a little bit drunk after a meal. Nothing to do with the wine. Nothing to do with the wine. No. And, and the meal was good. Oh, what do we have? Feta cheese. Feta than what? Done to perfection. Oh, thank you very much. Feta cheese done to perfection. I like a fry in um, in maize meal. What's maize meal in English? Corn flour. Corn flour. And uh, so I'm getting ready to do a weekly uh, podcast that in involves you guys. So I've talked about it before. Talk about it again. When you eventually uh, are allowed to come back. We'd like to meet up with you guys and sit and chew the fat and shoot the moon. Record it. 10, 15, 20 minutes doesn't mean what you like about Tenerife. Anything, any tips you can give to anybody else. Or what you don't like. What you recommend, what you don't recommend. But uh, in this vlog, we'd like to tell you a little bit about the last week. Last week was cool. It was unnaturally cold for the yeah. time of year, wasn't it? It still is, I think. Yeah. And what we got now? It's very cloudy all of the time. Uh-huh. It's 21 degrees outside. Uh, which doesn't sound too bad. But it's colder than normal, isn't it? Yeah. And it doesn't... Even in the sun, you've got that wind whipping in. So, uh, I think it was something to do with the an anti-cyclone over Spain that was bringing north winds down and they said it was going to last till Friday but it's Saturday today and it's still well although the winds dropped we couldn't yeah. eat on the balcony for three or four days last yeah. week wasn't it three days we ate inside because the wind was just belting the balcony we could have gone around the corner but it's a bit of a pain to move everything or just get a little table isn't it so we thought we might as well eat inside. Mm -hmm. Those of you who's following us on Facebook, you can see we, uh, on Instagram, of course, we post the picture of dinner every night. So if you're on YouTube and you're saying, what are they doing? What are these two guys doing? We've sub subscribed to the channel and nothing's happening. Just nip on into Instagram and have a look at the pictures of the food. There's a big picture of Christina smiling every night. Yeah. She's smiling because I say, smiley, you won't get the food. <laughs> it's not true. It's not true. So I got a more expensive wine today. Uh, it's from Mercadona. And I think it's their their own make, but I'm not sure. And it's really good. It's really good. It's even good after the chocolate. Yeah, we have chocolate as well. We get Cadbury's chocolate here, don't we? Like a little selection mm. box, don't we? Of chockies. So we get one of those. And the pubs were open last week. So I went down for two days. Well, not for two days. I went down twice. <laughs> and um, it's hard to, to keep to get people to keep away, you know, to like you're turning away locals and regulars because you're full because you only got half capacity and stuff. So the guy decided to close until phase two. He might open again next week, but uh, we'll see. Uh, there's a couple of other bars that are open and they're doing quite okay. Uh, the Eclipse on the front, down the front here is open. Well, sort the of like police for breakfast. is round a lot. 
Yeah, the police come round, but they I mean, they check checking. everything. Yeah, but it's good. It is. It is. I think that 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 I mean, the police are really doing a good job. I know that people say the Spanish police are, you know, really strict and stuff, but hey, you know, do it or don't do it. The only thing you need to say to a Spanish policeman is yes, sir. <laughs> don't start arguing the toss. Uh. No. And anyway, so I've looked into people coming over and people are asking about flights and stuff. And basically, the flights situation is there are flights coming in because people need to return to Spain or there are people who work away from Spain regularly, so they need to come in. Well, they want to fly German beer over. Oh, they want to fly the German beer over. Well, cargo's not, not stopped, but... Uh, but passengers, you know. I mean, a friend of mine came back last week and people were turned away at the boarding gates because they didn't have a residency card or they weren't Spanish nationals. So, you know, the, Spain are, are really serious about this. They don't want people coming in that don't belong for the moment. And if you do arrive, as of yesterday, uh, you have to self-isolate for 14 days. Now, there was a big thing in the newspapers and online about, oh, Spain's going... Uh, foreigners are quarantined for 14 days and that's not what it is what actually happened was is we were all in quarantine in phase zero so now we're going to phase one and we went a week early in Tenerife don't forget now we go to phase one uh, anybody arriving has to assume that they're still at phase zero for the first 14 days so that's all it is really they're, they have to they can't take advantage of phase one freedoms until they've proved to themselves, if you like, and to the government, that they're um, COVID virus free, which takes 14 days. So there's not any extra special thing. It's just that we get the extra freedoms of phase one de-escalation and people just arriving don't. So that's the simple explanation of what it's all about. It does not affect holidaymakers any way, shape or form, because this situation will not be there when holidaymakers are allowed in so you know it's they're thinking of something like a, a a health pass where you have to go and get checked and then you have to have a tracking in your phone or i don't know implanted in your head i don't know and uh, so that they can track your your health and a lot of people a lot of conspiracy theories about the end of the world and you know having a, a implanted and the vaccine's going to have loads of micro chips in it and stuff like that because Bill Gates is going to make a fortune from it, which you know, is stupid because he's already got a fortune and he's given 90% of it away in his will and he's helped thousands of people. So I just think that sometimes we think we overthink things. We overthink things. So keep it simple. The dude abides. And the birds quite like it. Yeah. The birds do quite like yeah. it. The birds are singing. We've got swallows flying around. The old swallows. And there's a bit of a wind coming now. The wind Gemma. But it's blowing the right way. It's coming from the Sahara, so that's gonna be a warmer wind, hopefully. Uh, what else we got to say? Yeah, the phase one's coming in. You can read about that somewhere else. Um, podcast I've said. Dinner we've said. We've thanked the people on YouTube, which we thank again. Anything else you want to say? Nope. What about your husband's fantastic? I believe he said that. Oh, my wife's fantastic too. Thank you. So this is Tim. Thank you, Stevie. For living with MS in Tenerife. Saying thank you very much once again and signing off. Bye. Bye. <laughs>